What's up, Lip Up? Stellar Crown released two days ago, and we're gonna go and check the prices for the top priced cards, you know? Let's see what the market says about the top priced cards and some other cards that could interest you as well. And from this set, it is a competitively viable set. So if you're interested in this content, please make sure to subscribe, give a like to the video, appreciate it, and let's get into it. All right, so the first card we're gonna get into is a Joltic illustration rare from Stellar Crown. Why do I get into this card? Because I do believe this card is a great setup Pokemon card for the games. Uh, it is quite affordable. And uh, the attack, you can see it for yourself. Search your deck for up to two basic grass energy and up to two basic electric energy or lightning energy and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. That is actually so powerful for a for a basic, you know, uh, colorless energy attack, you know, user. It, it's actually a really good attack and I wonder if more people could use it. Uh, Galvantula is also like uh, really strong, but it does have some drawbacks. Now we're gonna be talking about the Gold Bravery Charm, a tool card that gives your basic Pokemon plus 50 HP. It is a really good card, and in this meta, a lot of cards are using it, like uh, Roaring Moon, like uh, Raging Bolt, and uh, so on. So, but if we compare it to another card that's actually a stable card in many decks, like Buddy Buddy Poffin from Twilight Masquerade, then I guess the $13 market price isn't that crazy. Uh, isn't that crazy to understand because uh, the Buddy Boy Poffin is 32 and Buddy Boy Poffin is much more used than Bravery Charm Though Bravery Charm does have its incredible uses. So I mean Bravery Charm I could see it going up a little bit more if you if, you know the prices that it's at now is really good really good for this card <sighs> All right now we're gonna be talking about Terra Pagos the regular EX the regular EX is going for a $10.38 uh, though, you know, it's selling quite frequently at around the nine to ten dollar mark uh, You can see the prices right there and Terra Pagos is a really really good and versatile card You can use it. At, you can actually you don't have to make a strict Terra Pagos EX deck alone You can actually mix it with a bunch of cards because it's a colorless energy type and uh, with the the new stadium card that lets you enlarge your bench even more and uh, you can also use double turbo energy. You can you can use it with so many other cards. So there's a there's a deck going around with uh, Palkia, e, the Palkia V V Star, or the Palkia V, and this card. Um, and then this card has a ton of support as well. Uh, I could see this card being around this price, or maybe a little bit less, perhaps. If like, because I'm hearing some people are having a little bit of trouble with it. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can definitely understand why it's at this price. All right, now for the Terra Pagos EX Special Illustration Rare, uh, going at around $120. Let's see the let's see the frequency at where it's selling. It is selling around it is selling around the 120 to 130 mark. Now for uh, frequency sold, uh, it's not selling. It is selling. You know, we're just in the release time, so we have to keep seeing how this is gonna go. Uh, I don't believe this card is going to maintain the $120 mark. I do believe it's going to drop to around maybe 80 to 90 dollars heck even maybe a hundred i don't believe it's going to maintain the 120 dollar mark it is a it is a pretty strong card if we, if we compare it to raging bolt from uh, temporal forces the raging bolt is like a 75 dollar card so you know I, I can see this over raging bolt i guess so we'll put it at around like a 90 to 100 dollar card there is your under depths uh so terra pagos isn't the only deck using this card there's also a Maraid on deck. I love using this card. And this card does help a lot if your deck needs a lot of uh, draw and uh, support Pokemon in the bench. It is a really good card. I do wonder if this Stadium Trainer will see an increase in price from the 30 cent mark where it's at right now. Um, I would honestly pick up a couple, you know, maybe uh, like 10 copies of this just in case. Because some bulk cards do see a really, in really big price increase like Jet Energy or uh, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Now we're gonna be talking about the Noctowl Holographic from Stellar Crown, a really good card. When you evolve this card to uh, from Hoot Hoot and you have a Terra Pokemon, any Terra, it could be the Ogre Ponds, which a bunch of decks use Ogre Pond. It could be Terra Pagos, it could be Charizard. This card could be used in almost any deck, to be honest. You just gotta slap in one Terra card and like, you get to find two trainer cards, any any trainer card, supporter, item, tool, stadium, whatever you want. 
and this for two of them just for evolving so this card i do i do feel like this card could deserve being even more expensive than the 30 mark cent it is because it is very useful are going into the more sir territory after the terapocalypse we have the hydrapple ex sir uh not a not a meta defining card or anything because we already have ogre pun which does this pretty much like the attaching a grass energy to itself uh, acceleration and it's a basic pokemon hydrapple you do need to put a lot of uh materials into you gotta put rare candies or you gotta put another diplin it it, it makes decks a little bit clunk clunky if you're going to use hydrapple as an energy source so hydrapple is not the greatest competitive pokemon card so um I'm seeing the price more so as of why, how the card looks. The card looks really good. I do like the color. I do like the colors. But um, as for the overall general vibe of this card, I would I would personally put it at around a thirty-five dollar card at least. Let's see. Let's see a frequency at which it's selling. Uh, it is selling. You know, just about as much as Terrapagos is. So we'll see about that. We'll see about. I mean, it already is selling at around thirty-seven dollars in some stores. So. All right, well, that, that's that's pretty that's pretty nice. It was a sixty dollar card pre-release. All right, now we have the Dash Bun. Personally, my favorite card, one of my favorite cards in this set because it's very reminiscent of Blissey Prime from Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Has this, almost the same ability. This card could be good because there's a lot of Pokemon with a lot of HP, and I mean, you also have an A spec that increases HP by one hundred by one hundred. And uh, I was thinking about like Blastoise. Blastoise has an ability that decreases damage reduction as well. But the thing is that there's actually some decks that don't even care about how much HP you have. For example, Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon, the second place in the World Championships, has an attack that just knocks a Pokemon out. It's one of the signature attacks from Roaring Moon. And honestly, Dash Bun, at this point, I don't have much hope for seeing Dash Bun success. Uh, it, it could definitely be used if you don't have, a, you're not running against a, a deck that just destroys you in one shot. So the $23 mark is quite appropriate for this card it really is it really is all right now we have the galvantula ex special illustration rare this card has an insane nasty attack called fulgurite which pretty much stops you from playing the game essentially it slows you down completely it doesn't let you play any item cards which people usually use a lot of item cards to get their pokemon out to get energy out to get other trainer cards out it really does damper the pro the progress on the game and uh, the thing is that Terrapagos does have a lot of drawbacks to using it. You do have to discard everything you were putting into Galvantula in order to use this attack. Now, there is a lot of support cards for this. There's Glass Trumpet, which uh, in, which lets you put energy from the discard. There's uh, there's uh, the, the, the trainer card, uh, Crispin. And uh, there's some, you know, the, the, the Joltik itself that I was talking about earlier is a really good setup card for this. Uh, the thing is that I don't believe you can necessarily consistently put out this attack and the attack damage isn't uh, isn't enough to uh be super threatening for most decks uh so i do wonder i do wonder how how good this card is going to be now for the 37 dollar mark uh definitely i would put this at like a 30 dollar card maybe maybe like a 30 25 dollar card so i wouldn't buy this right now i definitely wouldn't if you're if you're if you're wanting it to drop i definitely wouldn't buy this right now because uh, it doesn't have enough meta relevancy, but um, yeah, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty interesting card. All right, now we're going to the Squirtle Illustration Rare, the Squirtle and the Bulbasaur. Ah, both cards being hyped very much before release. Um, personally, I'm just going to say this again. I don't care as much for these cards because we already have 151 variants of them. For in the whole in the 151 set, the set that everyone pretty much the most popular set in Scarlet Violet, there is already a beautiful Squirtle illustration rare and a Bulbasaur illustration rare that looks pretty much the same as this one, just a different bit of shadowing and uh, art style uh, mixed in. It literally has the same pose. Uh, so I don't agree that these cards should be forty dollar cards. Bulbasaur is about a thirty dollar card. I agree that. These should like, you know, lower in price more than they're at and uh, definitely don't agree with any price increase from these. I personally would not agree with those. They're, we already have existing ones and these are not better than the existing ones. Let's just put it like that. All right, now let's get into the Lacey, the Lacey Special Illustration Rare. We have uh, Lacey, so her ability is quite mid, to be honest. Uh, there's really no 
no point in using her because uh, until your opponent gets to three prizes or less, you want a very consistent uh, supporter trainer card. So this is not a very good card at all. Um, now, if you're looking at it in the perspective of it being a full art nice lady card, which I personally see it as a Iono 2.0, and Iono is a much better card in the game. It's actually almost a staple card. So I honestly, at, uh, with the $55 mark, I wouldn't even give it $55. I would put it at like a $40 maybe, like a $40 card. I definitely would not buy this card right now. Uh, it's not, it, you know... It, it's a it's a cool card. It's a it's a nice you know the 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 trainer card. The character herself looks cool, but uh, I there's just not enough for me to put this at around fifty five dollars. Let's see the price, the frequency at it, which is being sold about the same as Terra Pagos. All right, so it seems like uh, all the special restrictioners are selling at around the same frequency. Um, we're just you know we're just two days from release, so we just we gotta give it like a month or so to see the actual things. All right, Breer. Breer has an interesting ability, and unfortunately, it's way too situational. It's a little bit too situational. Um, your opponent has to have exactly two prize cards, and if they do, then your Terra Pokemon, uh, if they knock a Pokemon out, you, you can take up to three prize cards, which is really, really strong. The problem is that this is quite situational. Your opponent could suspe suspect that you have Breer. Uh, they could just put out one of their one prize card Pokemon. Now I could see you manipulating if your opponent doesn't have one prize card Pokemon, only runs two prize card Pokemon. Well, this could be good. The problem is that taking three prizes isn't going to help you at all because it's always going to be a two, two, two. So if you take two, three, two, that doesn't, that's more than six, that's seven. So the, it doesn't really matter in the end if you play this card and you get a third prize because your opponent, it, the, the way you're going to be your opponent with only EX Pokemon is going to be two, two, two. Like it's, it's, it, it doesn't matter if you get the extra prize card. The only way, the only way I see this being useful is like you're way back and you can only knock out two of their EX Pokemon, then you got to use two Breers. And using two Breers is kind of, will make your deck a little bit less consistent because since this is kind of a situational card you might even discard it uh, throughout the game. I, I just don't see this card being as useful. So that's why her price is at around a justified $28. Uh, you know, the, the, the artwork, I like it more than the Lacey. So, you know what? I'm okay with it being $28. I'm okay with it being $28. And it is selling around the same frequency as the other special illustration rares. So what do you guys think about the prices of these top cards or some cards that I showed you that could potentially you know, increase in value over time. Uh, I do believe this, uh, the, the Terra Pagos and some trainer cards like the Stadium and the and the Glass Trumpet and all those uh, do make the Terra cards more viable. And uh, I do really like the Galvantula and the Terra Pagos. So what do you guys think? And uh, let me know if you really wanted me to showcase another illustration rare from the set. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan, a huge fan of uh, most of these is illustration rares, but um, we talk about the prices where we can. But anyways, appreciate YOLO pups. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe and let's get on to the next news.